In this video, I want to show you how to factory reset your echo spot in case you don't want it anymore. Maybe you want to resell it or you're uh, experiencing issues with it and you want to start fresh. So what you need to do, obviously it needs to be turned on, drag down, select the cog wheel over here for the settings to appear, go down, select device options, then go down and you should see factory reset. Tap on it. And now you're gonna have two different options. The first option is reset, but retain smart home device connections. This is not a full reset. It will not be, de it will not be deregistered from your Amazon account. So if you want to completely erase everything that is here and it will be like brand new the moment you took it out of the box for the first time you need to select reset to factory defaults then you need to go down it will simply tell you here that it will be removed from your amazon account everything will be wiped out are you sure you want to make this decision and if you're sure go ahead and press the reset button i won't do it now because i don't want to do this but usually after you press this reset button, it will take less than two or three minutes and you'll get the setup screen. Again, the same screen you got when you pick this device out of the box and you connect it the first time. So you'll be able to connect it to a new Amazon account or maybe your older one. Let me show you right now how to set a new device. So here we have a QR code and they ask us to scan it using the Alexa app. So you need to take your smartphone and this is what I will do right now. You probably already have the Amazon Alexa app installed on your phone. If not, go ahead. It works with Android and iPhone. Launch the app. And on this main screen, you may have this pop-up um, screen that I will appear after about three seconds um, after you open the app. If you see the screen, go ahead and tap on agree and continue. If you don't see it, don't worry. What you need to do is to press on the top right corner where you see a plus sign. Tap on device. Then Amazon Echo. Tap on Echo, Echo Dot, Echo Pop and more. Tap Yes. It will search and in this list you should see your device. So mine is over here, Echo Spot. You can tap on it. Just wait a few seconds. All right, select your Wi-Fi network from the list. Then you need to enter your password. Press Connect. You should have a blue check mark on your device once this is done. There's a good chance that your device will need to be updated before being able to use it. And this is what it will do automatically. So you just have to set it aside. It can take up to five minutes. In the meanwhile, while this is updating, uh, on the app, if you press continue, you're gonna have this screen and it will ask you where is this Alexa located? You can select your address over here where probably all your other devices are or if you want to add a new address go ahead and press enter new address. If you have selected to add a new address go ahead and select where this address is. Mine is let's say home so I'll select home press next update. On this step it will ask you to say where this device is located in your home. So is it in the bedroom, other parts? Go ahead, select the appropriate option. Now it's time to choose the clock display, the one that you'll see over here all the time. So make sure you select one that you like. Obviously you'll be able to change this in the future if you dislike it. In my case, I like this one. I think it's the clearer. This is the way I can see the time the best. But if you like to have weather, there's these two ones over here. You see, you have one with the sun and the other one, you have the weather right on the top. Actually, let me pick this one. Here, it will tell you how to snooze the device in case you're using it as an alarm clock or maybe just an alarm. You just need to tap here. 
and at the end you'll get this screen get started with Alexa your echo spot is ready Oops. press on let's go and this is about it your device will be added over here when you press devices you can tap on it and you'll be able to edit a few different settings from this screen if you want to edit more settings click on this cogwheel obviously now it says that device is offline because it didn't finish updating once this will be updated you won't get this red message because it will be connected all right so now i'm back it took about three minutes i think four minutes to fully update i think even more depending on your wi-fi speed it even may take five or ten minutes anyway you'll get this main screen and you'll be able to use your new echo spot uh, right now i have a notification this is why you see this yellow bar but overall to navigate and to use it it's very easy if you swipe down you're gonna have these quick settings so what you need to understand is that the first icon here is the home button so no matter in which menu you are no matter what is displayed here if you want to go back on this home screen you just have to swipe down and press home right now i'm on home so nothing will happen if i do it then you have this sun icon this is just for the brightness of the screen and then you have night mode if you don't want to be disturbed let's say and finally we have this cogwheel which will find every single other settings so you have the, co uh, the so you have the clock and theme if you want to change these go ahead the color i won't go through them but you get the idea if you want to customize the look of your home screen let's say then you have bluetooth in case you want to connect another device to it most people will may connect a um, bluetooth speaker if this one is not loud enough to you maybe you want you have a big one that is more appropriate for your room you can connect it by going in this settings it will tell you here what to do and we have other ones like display sound device option again i won't go through every single one of them it'll probably take hours but you get the idea this is where you need to go if you have if you want to change something about this echo spot so no matter again where you are in these settings if you want to go back home because you're done swipe down like that press the home button and this is it quick note on the top of this device you have only three different buttons there's no camera i know the other echo spot the older version had a camera this one does not you have the minus here if you want to lower the volume plus if you want to make it louder and finally you have this button that when you press it it will light up red and you can always see this red bar as well it simply means that uh, your echo spot will not react will not listen through its microphone so if you say alexa well nothing is happening you see alexa so this was it i hope this was useful please leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video